Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are at a substation in the Houston suburb of Pasadena, Texas. We will be watching an underground cut around, in particular the phase testing and cutting of the cable process of this cut around for a new manhole here at the substation. Our participating utility is Centerpoint Energy and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now you can see the blower hoses going down into this new manhole at the substation. We are cutting cable around in order to increase electrical service to the neighboring areas. Now, as is the case with any energized line electrical work, the first concern is for safety, public and worker safety. And to do that, first process here is to place ground wires on the breakers at the substation that feed this manhole. Right, we're good. And as he announces, we are good regarding grounds on the breakers. We can also zoom in on the overhead distribution pole where crews are also placing grounds for this cutover work. And now with the grounds on, we can go down into the manhole via a GoPro camera on the hard hat of our head cable splicer, David, who will describe to us what he is looking for for this job. Okay, we're in the manhole. This is uh, the circuit that we're currently working on. We're gonna look at the tag. We're working on current Carter Ball 7. We'll verify that tag. Carter Ball 7. Make sure that we go through all our checks before we cut and energize circuit. First, we look at the tag. We don't have a tag on this side because it was, it was only tagged on one side. And um, the next thing that we'll do, we'll infrared all the cable in the, in, the, in the manhole, all the energized cable. This right here is part of 08. This is not energized, this is a brand new piece of cable. It's not energized, it hasn't even much been energized. This is the new cable that's going into the, uh, going into the T-structure. But, uh, check my amateurs. Low battery, I got 185 amps on, the, on this particular one here right so I knew it's working properly so I also come over here to amp this to see the process of us getting phasing to make sure that we don't lose our phase we got a correct phase once again so one of the challenges here is we do have air blowers blowing air down into the manhole so sometimes that uh, dominates the audio you can't hear David very well so I will narrate this Essentially, he's using a phase tester here to determine which of the three cables are A, B, and C phase. It indicates that by a series of beeps and also flashing lights. And here is David marking this cable with white tape signifying the B phase. We will be cutting it directly in the center. So we'll put a phase, phase mark on both sides. And this way I don't lose my phase when I'm tying the circuits back together. Okay, so you can see, so you can hear C phase. So now C phase will get blue marking tape and A phase will get red marking tape. Uh, again, on both sides of what will eventually be the cut. One light, strong beat, one light, flat. Now with the phases identified, it's time to bring down what are called guillotine cutters. And the next step is to ground the cutters, even though no one will be in the manhole when the cut is made. Always safety first. Now you see the cutter blades being positioned on the C phase cable. And here they're actually going to position a board underneath this cable C phase to make sure it only cuts the intended cable. And you heard David say climb up out of the hole, which is where we are now. We're watching the cutters being plugged in above board. And now David will put on his gloves. He will be the one cutting it. This is an air test. Make sure there's no leakage in the gloves. And you will also hear David perform more visual and vocal safety checks before actually cutting the cable. 
Everybody's in the clear. No one's at the neck of the manhole. About to cut it. Yeah, I gotta get on the blanket. Oh, we we'll cut it so we're not grounded. And the cable is now cut, so let's follow David down to check the result. We have a good smooth cut. So they see that they do have a good smooth clean cut, and now they'll take that cutting board out from between uh, the C and B cable, and now they're going to cut B phase, setting up the guillotine cutters again to cut B phase only. And then here's David again after B phase is cut. Make sure that you don't cut the wrong cable. I mean, it's pretty much elementary. You can look in, in the hole and see it's the only one that's running through here. But it, at times, see, so you got a good, clean, clear cut. But at times, when you definitely have uh, more than one cable, maybe all lined up over there, you definitely want to have two sets of eyes just to make sure you don't cut the wrong cable. It's imperative. Mandatory safety rule. And so you can see here phases B and C are cut. Now we're prepping phase A for cutting and David with a few more comments on safety and teamwork. Securing it up against that cable where it won't cut any other cable. It's a, it's a team effort here. You really have to rely on the guys. As you can see, these guys, they, one guy put a set of grounds at the pole, the other guy put a set of grounds at the breaker. They, they identified it that, they, that it was there. It's really a team effort the way, the way we work. And so what you'll see here is thermal imaging being used to test for any hot spots underground. This was also done at the start of this job. And we are now getting ready for part two of an underground cut around, which would be splicing the cables together. You have now seen part one of the underground cut around, phase testing and cutting. Our participating utility was Centerpoint Energy. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. And in a moment, you're going to see those three cables ready for splicing right there. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you for watching.